Hey everybody, we're back to uh, go ahead and do the final process of the reassembly of this phone. I am using a new uh, bezel with this device which came with some pre-applied adhesive, so I won't be doing that step in this phone. Um, although if you want to see adhesion, uh, the adhesive put on, you can feel free to watch any of my other videos, it'll show that as well. I'm going to go ahead and just reattach the back button and the uh, menu button ribbon cable here. We'll go ahead and just insert it into the slot on the back of the ribbon cable. Now if you're using your old bezel, uh, you can just use some 3M double sided tape uh, to go ahead and just cut it to fit around the exterior portion of the phone. Just make sure you don't cover up any camera holes, proximity sensors, any of the holes that are on the device. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically put these uh, right into the right spot. You can see that there's not a lot of room across the top of the LCD here. Um, and you can get them pretty much lined up uh, perfectly um, without any much, much of an issue. You want to make sure you get them lined up really close because the backlighting comes through that ribbon cable. They don't light up unless you have them pretty much lined up in the correct spot. And we'll test them here in a second as well. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall our home button ribbon cable. It uh, needs to slide through the slot where the home button is at. It has two pins on the opposite side of the bezel where the button fits into place. So you can't really mess this one up too much. Uh, we're just going to use a quick pick here and just put it down on top of the pins on the opposite side. You can see that they're kind of showing through that white pin right there. So line the contacts up for your logic board and then just make sure that the button is uh, centered on the opposite side of the device for the home button. We'll go ahead and install that as well. It also has pins uh, at the bottom portion of the device where uh, you'll see that it'll fit in properly. So check to make sure I'm putting the home button in the right uh, direction here. And each side has little plastic wings on the home button. So you want to go ahead and just make sure you put these over the pins uh, where they're supposed to be as well. The narrow portion of the button goes towards the bottom of the phone and the elongated portion goes up towards the uh, top portion of the phone. I'm going to go ahead and test our uh, phone cables here real quick. So I just went ahead and hooked it up to the logic board and battery um, and it's got a cable hooked up to it because it was actually dead. I'll give it a few seconds to go ahead and start up. I've done a few of these where I've disassembled the phone and reassemble the entire device and the home button and the back button didn't function, sorry not the home button, but the menu button and the back button and ribbon cable didn't function um, anymore. So it might have been damaged during the disassembly. So now I like to test them before I reassemble everything, uh, make sure they function because I don't want to pull the LCD back off of the bezel once it's been adhered. Uh, it seems like that's when a lot of these LCDs can get damaged in the process. So we'll just double check and make sure it's functioning beforehand. Meets a few seconds where the screen boots up for us. Here we go. We can see that we definitely have the backlight on the buttons here, which is great. Go ahead and unlock it, and we're just going to check to make sure they're in the right spot that everything's functioning for us. You can see that the menu button's definitely working for us. It seems to be doing exactly what we want it to. Go ahead and disassemble the logic board and the battery off of here. Take the LCD off. And we can go ahead and start the reassembly of the device. Now that we know that everything's in its correct spot. Just pushing down on them a little bit, make sure they don't uh, get uh, moved at all when we go ahead and reassemble the phone. Now, like I was saying, I'm using a new bezel on this and it came with a pink plastic protector and it had adhesive already on it. So I went ahead and removed that. We're just going to go ahead and put it back on the device, putting the ribbon cable in first. Starting at the bottom of the phone, making sure that it sits in the bezel correctly and that the home button is depressed properly. I'm going to check the corners, make sure everything's in its place. If you want to look for a um, adhesion without uh, the, the new bezel, um, you can actually check it out. I have an S2 or an S4 a video on here that show uh, the application using the 3M double-sided tape. You can just search that video 
Um, if you're looking for how to do that, you just don't want to cover any uh, holes or ports, a speaker port or a camera port on the front, uh, and just run adhesive all the way around the device. And I spent a few more seconds just double checking the sides. Um, I really don't want this device to have any issues of, of having the adhesive pull up for us. So I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and adhered. If you need to, you can apply some heat um, and use that as a way to get the, the adhesive a little bit more tacky if you need to. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is put back in our vibration module. Let's go ahead and re-adhere that back into the mid-frame of the device. Put in our earpiece speaker cable as well. Should have some tackiness to it still, so just make sure you lay it down properly back into its correct spot. It has some little pins uh, that'll line up here as well, so just make sure you get those uh, properly set up for the device. making sure we get our volume buttons in place. You may need to uh, push the volume button out just a little bit uh, as you slide this board back into place. Just make sure that the button's depressed properly and that you can hear them kind of click like you would on a normal device as well. Just going to make sure that uh, this right portion of the cable here gets uh, stuck down as well. Go ahead and put in our front facing camera proximity sensor. be a little bit tricky, you just need to make sure that it gets inserted correctly into the spot. It's nice and flat. I'm just going to remove this little piece of tape here. It's bothering me. I'm going to put a little bit of double-sided tape underneath this cable. It's not wanting to stay uh, stuck down. Looks like the adhesive that was holding it down is gone. So we're just going to put this down. That way nothing fumbles around or reassembling or after the device is assembled as well. There we go. Now it's uh, not uh, pulling the earpiece speaker out double checking the power and the volume buttons just making sure that the power button is pushed outwards completely into its uh, area that way when you reinstall the logic board everything's going to fit back into place like it should we have our little um, wire antenna cable here as well so we're just going to go ahead and reinsert this into its correct spot on the device and make sure that the cable goes back into its guide path down the side of the phone. You can see exactly how it fits in. Uh, try to just push it in to make sure that it doesn't come out. When you put the black of rear housing on, um, you don't want it to pinch this cable. I'm going to go ahead and put the housing cover on for the front facing camera proximity sensor. We have a single screw that goes into this area. Hold everything down for us. We 
little piece of tape here off of the new bezel that I have. We're just going to remove those for the thermal strips on the back of the device. Making sure that everything snaps back into its correct spot. Uh, be careful of the front facing camera portion. The ribbon cable needs to be put on. Your LCD cable needs to be attached as well. little adhesive strip here that was stuck to the back of the board. Just going to make sure there's nothing else there. You can go ahead and reattach our wire antenna here. Put it back into its guide slot, make sure that it lines up so we don't pinch it when we put the rear housing back on. It can be a little bit tricky, you just kind of want to make sure that there's a few points where you can see that it should be pressed in and it'll have little clips for it. Make sure that you run it down the right spot, like this. The black screw that we're going to put back into the device that holds the logic board down, right above the charging port. Double check the power button, make sure that it's being depressed properly as well. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, uh, so just kind of finagle it, make sure that it's going to be depressing for you. It's a button that gets used a lot, so you want to make sure that it uh, is in the correct working order. It will annoy you if it is not. Really want to make sure that's functioning properly for us. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and put on uh, the top portion of the rear black housing. Here we go. We'll go ahead and just put that back into place. Make sure we put our ribbon cable back on. Want our speakers and everything to function properly for us. We can go ahead and put the rear housing on for the rest of the device here. Go ahead and snap it back into place. Go ahead and reinsert the remaining screws that we have. Just double check everything and make sure it's going to function properly for us. I keep forgetting this device is, oh, I thought I had a bad or a dead battery. It seems like every step of this video I keep forgetting that the device has a dead battery on it so I have to charge it. Alright, looking pretty good. Just going to double check everything. Make sure that the screen's nice and adhered. The home, the power button's going to function properly for us. Back button and the menu button are going to work for us. The volume button's going to work for us. 
Go ahead and put in the remaining portions of our screws. Just a few more to go. There are definitely a lot of screws on the back of this device. All right, we're just seconds away. And this would be the complete Loca repair. Uh, if you want to watch any of the other videos, I'll have them down in the, the description as well. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them as well. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope this uh, helped you uh, basically get your device back to the working order that you want it to be. Uh, if you follow these steps, if you get a new bezel, it should look like it's a brand new device. Once you're done with the screws, you can just go ahead and put your battery cover back on and you are finished. Your device is complete. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you uh, or hear from me on my next videos.